this for the plays out there, check out this dope shit. Hey fam welcome to a new episode on our channel. Today we'll be talking about factions in Call of Dragons. If you guys like Call of Dragons consider subscribing we'll be making regular Call of Dragons contents now and if you find this helpful please share to a lot of people or leave and like on this video. Now let's talk about what factions to pick when you begin Call of Dragons. Now there's a debate on which faction to choose but have their advantage and disadvantages at different situation. Now there's a debate between whom to choose Guanwin or Walder, as the best starting faction. To decide that let's pick the best starting hero. Personally I'd go for Guanwin because she does really well in Behemoth raids, unlike Walder but Walder does great in PvP but Guanwin can perfect good in both PvP and PvE. So if you starting out a faction in the game you pick Spring Wardens, and later on you can switch to League of Orders, and if you are P2P you can start with, the Wilder bug now let's do a quicker overview on faction units to help you decide easily when you want to change factions in Call of Dragons. Now if you are going for Wilder bug you are going to want to be focused on the Marksman units so if your heroes are invested into the Marksman, I recommend you go for Wilder bug, and if you are going for the Magic units you should be going for the League of Order and if you are to go for Spring Wardens, you have to be focused in Calvary units so that the basic general overview. Also let not forget with League of Order you get 10% on gathering speed. Bonus also keep in mind you can get 5% extra bonus for resource gathering. From the work rhinos of the Wilderbug and that's really high and if you gathering a lot of resources that would really be helpful the bonus is only given if gathering with only with the work rhinos. Okay, so now I'll be showing you how to change your faction and there are rules and regulations to follow when changing your faction. No legions, including scouts and legions rallied within your city, or outside your city so pay attention to make sure you don't have any reinforcement within your city. The second rule states that, neither your city or your legions are in combat so that means you can't have any war activities going on during this period. And the last rule states that, you must not have any legions being trained during this period also I do have troops training at this period. So let's speed those up also there are few things to keep in mind for those new to the game when changing factions faction bonus and hero tokens gained during completing main quests will be replaced your legions will replace to the unit of the new faction also get ready to see difference in building style due to the differences between faction city layouts. Some of your building will also need to be repositioned. When changing factions you'll also need this item this can be bought in the shop but you get one when you reach level 10 or get it from the shop which would cost you 10,000 gems which is quite expensive for free to play. Now let's go change factions and let's see the differences. Once it's done loading we'll be seeing new buildings, different from what we got when we used Spring Wardens. Now that it has finished loading up, let us check out the new units we have. Now we have the Ballistas. Now we've also got workhorses. And we've also got swordsmen. We also have some units which we can't see yet due to our low level the remaining units are Vestals, Knights and Celestials. As I've mentioned the best faction to choose is the League of Order because you are going to get Waldir. But another option for a starting faction will be Spring Wardens. You are going to get heal speed bonus 5%. That means you are going to get more free healing 5%. So that means whenever you are a fighting a behemoth and you are struggling, you can basically heal faster from that. You also get 5% marching speed and you get the hero Guanwin. She's also a peacekeeping hero and also a marksman, which is great because they deal a lot of damage towards peacekeeping units. And the marksman does really well when raiding behemoths. Now the biggest benefit when you choose, League of Orders is the 10% gathering boost and magic defense which helps when you are in combat. Also the gathering speed helps a lot in the game. The extra 10% gather speed will allow you gather so much faster in the game. 10% can be a lot of difference if you are thinking about playing long term. The Wilder Bug I don't recommend using it when starting out in Call of Dragons. Now if you are creating a farm account I would recommend you use League of Orders because you are going to have an overall gathering speed of 10% and a bigger load capacity that help you to farm much better. Do not use Spring Wardens or Wilderbug for a farm account. Only use League of Order. As you move on to the later stages in Call of Dragons you'll have to focus on what your role is. 
As you navigate in Call of Dragons you'll need to figure out what type of role you want to play in Call of Dragons. In the late stages, you will be looking into special units in terms of what factions you are choosing. Example. Now if you are going to become a rally leader, I'll advise you go for the Wilderbug. Wilderbug will actually be great for those who are huge spenders in Call of Dragons, because you are getting 3% physical attack that will benefit you on the battlefield, and any type of units in here regardless of their factions. Overall in the late stages you should be going for Wilderbug as your faction, or go for Spring Wardens for faction buff, because you are getting heal speed, plus 5% in Legion March speed which is very important, because when you are in combat you'll definitely see barricades which is going to slow you down and having that extra 5% allows you to evade or charge in. Now the League of Order should be your third option in the late stages of the game since except you are a farm account, but for combat you either go for Wilderbug or Spring Wardens. Spring Wardens are really good in combat especially if you are free to play. So with that being said, I hope this video helps you decide which faction to choose depending on your vision as a beginner and in the late stages of Call of Dragons. Please comment below which faction you are using or plan on using if you're new to Call of Dragons. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave like, peace out.